In this video, we spot council workers doing what they do best. We get a hearty breakfast before fixing this cow's foot. Good morning folks, and welcome to Tech TV. I don't know what you would call us, but I think we'll go down over the name of Hoof Trimmer. Good morning everybody, and welcome to another episode. Um, Friday morning over here, so Friday feeling is here once again. I've got a very big day's trimming today. I've got three cows, so that's a big one. Uh, we were in Bush Mills yesterday. Uh, it's up in the north, <coughs> up towards the north coast of Ireland and uh, we had 140 yesterday so small day today just to balance things out bush mills is famous for its whiskey so comment below if you have ever been to the distillery there's a good tour there i've, I've never done it myself but uh, that's what most people know bush mills for um work has started here out the back of the house so the guys have got it all dug out um my shipping container is over here so i've got my water supply and electric for my power washer um, these channels here, they're all in the deck the way. Um, so the only thing we're ready for now is some concrete. Hopefully if the weather's good next week, we'll get a chance and we'll get that finished off. That'll be fantastic. Um, Tom texted me this morning, said he didn't want to go for a fry. Uh, we're going to go for a father-son breakfast en route. I don't think he's going to come and help me with my big day of three cows, but um, I think I'll meet him for the fry anyway. Cafes over here are just opening up. We haven't sat in for breakfast in a long, long time with COVID. So I'm going to enjoy a nice sit down breakfast and get on and get the cows done. I'm not actually traveling alone today. I've got a passenger on board. There's not much chatter to them. So at the age of 30, dad's actually still buying me fluffy, goodly toys. Meet Crazy Daisy, as he likes to call her. Looks like your van had a baby. Are you late? I'm very late. It's not often I'm late for an occasion like this. Seriously? No. Oh. JD's here is one of the best places for a good fry in the town. Um, good place, good parking, park the crush there. Um, good for workmen and stuff. You go in wearing your work clothes and all that. So, shout out to JD. Nice to be back, Tom, isn't it? Oh, unbelievable. It's just been a while, I tell you. Oh, it's great. Don't know whether I have the large breakfast, medium breakfast, or small breakfast. I think maybe the small breakfast. <laughs> I was thinking there, it's not actually Friday. It's actually Friday. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Kira. Hi. And for stuff. Super job, okay. Kira. Thank you very much. Can I get Lovely. you Thank you. I can't talk to you right now, Gareth. I have work to do. Yes. We have missed it. We have missed it. It's been such a long time. If you like to watch us eat breakfast, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and you'll see loads more. Thank you. I think what he's trying to say is, if you want to see us eat like breakfast and trimming the auto, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I just found two council workers here doing what they do best, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> just after a tasty breakfast and we're on our way to the farm, uh, picked up another passenger. So it's me, Crazy Daisy, who's a little bit camera shy, and Tom. <laughs> One of the Chuckle Brothers. So let's head to the farm and see how we can help out these cows. We're just getting set up here and uh, this little this little red animal here is probably the lamest one we have. She is very reluctant to put any weight on the front foot. So let's get this animal in, get her lifted and see how we can help her. When we lifted this hoof, we could see a clear double sole. Underneath the double sole, the digital dermatitis had undermined it. This is a matter of stripping away the double sole to reveal the new sole. Every chunk of overgrown hoof 
around the lesion that is removed is life changing to this cow. The digital dermatitis probably started at the top of the heel in the winter time and is now eating its way down underneath the sole. I find this type of trim extremely satisfying. Some of you have noticed that we use two different types of knives. One is a left hand knife and one is a right hand knife. However, both can be used in each hand depending on which direction you're going. We wrap the right hand knives in red and we wrap the left handed knives in blue just so we can know the difference in them from a glance. I find that bandaging the knives leaves them a little bit more comfortable to hold. It also gives us a better grip on them. Trimming around this lesion is left a lot easier when your knife is super sharp. This is a suckler animal. In normal terms, we would bandage this hoof if this animal was staying inside for a while. But because it's going out to the field, the bandage can often turn out abrasive and almost like sandpaper when it gets wet in the field and then dries off again. So in this case, we'll just spray it with Ripoderma. Ripoderma is a product which contains chelated copper and zinc. This penetrates the lesion and kills any bacteria in there. From this camera angle you can see we have enough height difference between the lateral claw and the medial claw to relieve the cow off the lesion. So this cow was walking mm -hmm. on a whole load of hoof, this is just one chunk of it. So we took all the weight off that sore place and she is certainly going to be happy. Um, with, di with dairy cattle we tend to put on more blocks but because this is a suckler animal and it doesn't got an audience here and because this is a suckler animal and she doesn't need to be at the dairy twice a day or three times a day there's a lot less pressure on the feet so this we, we've we've left her to walk on this heel here so this is really acting as a block you've seen in other videos we've, we've glued on blocks but this here is actually this one this is like a homemade block with the cow's own hoof and uh, she is lifted nicely off that so we'll see how she goes now when she gets out It's really great to see her walking so well after that trim. So folks, that finishes off today. Tom did come with me to help me with my big day of three cows, four cows. I had to make him work off his breakfast. I enjoyed going with Cara. It was one of the nicer days where we just had a few to do and it was very rewarding to get fixing them up and treating them and leaving them nice and comfortable. I'm going to have a wee coffee now, we have gates and equipment to wash later on and this caffeine in this is incredible for taking dirt off gates. I bought the breakfast and I bought the coffee so I think you can wash the gates. <laughs> oh no! If you like this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, like the video and if you have any thoughts 
comment below. Thanks for watching folks and have a great weekend. Bye for now.